management the term is a universal phenomenon and it is very popular and widely used term that first thing management is getting things done through the people management is a art of knowing what to do and when to do yes and see that it is done in the best and cheapest way namaste my dear students i am shubha hebbar commerce faculty vidyashrama first grade college the temple of excellence mysore yes my dear students a warm welcome to the session yes that national educational policy has introduced one of the new subject that is management principles and applications for your bcom courses yes my dear students in the previous session we have discussed about what are the syllabus inherent by this particular subject yes let us start to discuss the chapter from this session yes once again a warm welcome to the session yes my dear students that management the term management is as old as human history and a successful life of every person it depends upon how he manage with his anger anxiety happiness and sorrow etc yes everything depends upon how we manage with those are all and it is not only about our personal life but also it related to our social life and also as well as business life yes dear students in the present situation the term management is belongs to business circumstances yes in the modern days there are a crore number of companies are establishing all over the world yes in modern days there are a crore number of companies are establishing all over the world though many companies are producing homogeneous products they may have same mission and vision though they have providing same services but the profit status of those are all companies are very different very differ from one to another yes there are so many companies are fighting for find well place in fortune 500 list but very few companies are able to get that particular place yes which company has efficient management system those company only can get place those company only can get profitable status yes which tells about it is very necessary to study about the management principles and applications the first chapter of management principles and applications that is introduction to the management let us see what are the different content we are going to discuss in the session first one introduction to management and next one that meaning and definitions of managements yes what is the meaning of management and so many management thinkers has given the definition about the management so that will be discussed under the meaning and definitions of managements and what are the different specific nature of managements that will be discussed and next importance why we have to study the management yes what is necessary to study the management that will be discussed in importance of management yes let us start to discuss that is introduction to management yes management the term is a universal phenomenon and it is very popular and widely used term and it's not only about business organization in our daily routine life we are using that term oftenly and that all the organizations you can take business organizations you can take educational system you can take health system you can consider anything that cultural social which factor you can take that is the term management will be there yes hospital management educational management so these are all the best example for it is widely used term okay yes the management is a universal phenomenon which the term we are using oftenly and in all the organizations you can consider political you can consider any social you can consider political business social anything factor the term management will be used 
ओके यस दैट इज मैनेजमेंट यस आई टोल्ड वी आर यूजिंग द टर्म ऑफनली बट वॉट इज मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट इज आर्ट ऑफ गेटिंग डन थ्रू द पीपल और विद द पीपल एंड वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स प्री डिटरमाइंड गोल so that will be management yes we can say in another manner the management is process of getting activities completed with efficiently and effectively done through the group of people and those group of people in organized group okay so this is considered as management yes that activities completed efficiently and effectively so this is two important term efficiently and effectively which belongs to means and yes efficiently is belongs to means and efficiently which belongs to ends how we will use the means to reach the ends ends means that which have predetermined goal okay so that is efficiently and effectively with through the people and certain group of people just in organized manner and yes the definition definition has given by f w taylor he is a father of scientific management he has given that definition management is a art of knowing what to do and when to do yes and see that it is done in the best and cheapest way everybody can do but somebody can will do with efficiently and effectively yes successfully you have reached the goal and how in a cheapest way so that will be explained by this definition yes so this is the meaning and definition this important for two marks so it will be best manner just writing the meaning of management in the introduction part while you are explaining the functions of management different levels of management or the principles of management okay so that meaning and definitions are very important topic and meaning and definitions are very important okay next so what is the meaning of management management is a art of getting things done through and with the people and they are working towards predetermined goal okay so that is management let us discuss the nature of management yes the nature of management explained by different points here i have listed very few points here just after studying this particular topic you can listed more okay yes that first thing management is getting things done through the people so this is the first nature of management that system of management like this that getting things done through the people in the sense it is quite like uh, divisions of works the divisions of work which means that getting things done through the people which means the group of persons are there the group of person just they have allocated the work themselves yes some group of person will do these activities some group of person will do these works which those are all activities those are all works regarding to reach the goal which have predetermined which means working specialization working specialization in the sense yes if i am specialized in a particular work i assign for that work so in that manner so just they have to allocating the work their specialization so that is coming under the done through the people and next one that it will be goal oriented process yes that done through the people with the people they are working or the activity towards reach the predetermined goals so that goals already determined by that group of persons and just it's goal oriented if there is no goal there is no works so which means the work all the work always follow certain goals which have predetermined and determined by that belonging persons okay so that management is goal oriented process and next one the management is 
परवेसिव परवेसिव विच मीन्स लाइक प्रो एक्टिव विच मीन्स इनिशियली यू आर टेकिंग द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज इफ यू आर अ मेंबर ऑफ दैट मैनेजमेंट इनिशियली यू आर टेकिंग द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड यू आर गोइंग टू डू द पर्टिकुलर वर्क लाइक प्रो एक्टिव यूर सेल्फ ऑलवेज यू आर वेरी एक्टिव डू यूर वर्क एंड यू विल बी द रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर यूर वर्क and just no need to push one or another that is considered that management is pervasive and the next one it is multi dimensional management is multi dimensional yes that multi dimensional process in the sense just you will use the particular term in many areas it is not particularly pertaining to a particular factor a particular subject it belongs to every sectors every factors so that will be considered that multi dimensional if you are taking personally yes the management how you will manage yourself if you are taking that business how you will manage that organization if you are taking any social how you will manage yourself in the society so that multi dimensional process okay and the next one yes it is continuous process the process of management will not get end it is not a matter of to reach the goal which have predetermined of course that some organizations has predetermined the goals and just trying to reach that process but managing ourselves it will not get end that every situation will be different every experience will be different and till that experience and we have to manage ourselves and if you are considering the business organizations that experience also will be differ and if you are considering any business organizations that management process will not get end it will be a continue process the process of management will not get end and how it is always there will be activity that in between means and ends efficiency and effectiveness yes first day you are trying to reach the goal with the same cost and next you have to try just very less cost and next you have to try to reach then very less cost which means the process will not get end always you are going to try so that continuous process and next one it is group activity already we have discussed with the meaning it is done through the people with the people and this group of people in organized manner it is group activity by a single person it is not possible by two something can possible but group and it is possible to manage everything so that management is group activity okay and the next one it is dynamic function yes dynamic process which means always trying to do something the process will not get stop which means that's like always moving so that is contrast it is a dynamic function first you have to plan then afterwards you have to get organizing then staffing then controlling then coordinating so that's like it, everything it's moving towards to reach the goal then next intangible it is not tangible which means we can feel it we can do the work but we can't touch it is not subjective okay so these are all different nature of management just i have listed very few important nature you can consider management is a multidisciplinary concept then it has certain principles so these are all different nature which we can use to write while explaining the nature and scope of management and next go to why we have to study the management and next go to why we have to study the concept of management yes let us discuss what are the importance of management that we have to study the management or by adopting this process what happen yes the process of management which helps to that optimum utilization of resources what do you mean by optimum utilization of resources that utilization of resources in a better manner so that is considered as optimal utilization of resources 
yes just you are discussing with the help of process of management which means that discussion among the group which leads to how to utilize the resources always we are fighting with the less resources and unlimited wants yes how to reach the unlimited wants with the less resources and that will be optimum utilizations of resources that so many ideas from that groups towards to utilization of resources and next one that competitive strength yes that competitive strength it helps to develop the competitive strength in an enterprises how yes just every enterprises try to make profit is it that will be the goal that will be the goal how to make it profit when it is possible by less cost and more output so it leads to that competitive strength and next one that cordial industrial relations yes that management which helps to minimize the industrial disputes and which helps to contribute that sound industrial relations so that is that cordial industrial relations and then motivation of employees yes that motivation of employees which makes to that efficient working environment how it is the management is pervasive just proactive already we have discussed in the nature of management which means if you are belongs to that management if you are belongs to that particular organization yes you have to take initiative and you have to do the work and it shows your efficiency and your effectiveness so that is that motivation of employees and the next one yes effective managements that which management have effectiveness and efficiency so that management definitely will get well status and definitely it will get the highly profitable status how it is which means that effective management because of that always try to reach the consumer demand always try to maintain that social responsibilities so these are all concern which carry them to a good status good position in the societies and the next one is that achievement of goal yes that which management have efficient system efficiency in the process so that management will reach the goal the goal may be belongs to profit motive or towards to social responsibilities so many ngos just focusing on serve the publics that management of ngos just reach the publics so whatever it is the goal may be belongs to that social responsibilities or belongs to profit motive so that it helps to achieve the goal and the next one change and growth these two important term the change in structure voice of the societies change in environment change in government policies changes in technology everything get changed the structure wise will get change and automatically the change it towards to growth of economic system of the country and the next one improves the standard of living when the better changes will happen it leads to just improve standard of living of the people of the country how it is they can get more opportunities as a employee they can get more opportunity to start a business organization so however just it leads to earnings more than it leads to just improving the standard of living of the society standard of living of the people and next ensures that smooth functioning of economic system it ensures smooth functioning of enterprises and it helps to continuous functioning in long periods which enterprises has a efficient management system that company that organization will lead a long life okay and then reduces turnover and absenteeism yes efficient management system which reduces the labor turnover and absenteeism and it ensures continuity in business activity and different business operations so these are all different importance of management 
Yes, dear students, in this session, just we have discussed what is the meaning and definition of management and what are the nature of management and importance of management. And in the next session, we are going to discuss what are the different levels of management and administrations. What is the differences between administration and management? So, okay, these are all different content we have to discuss in the next session. Yes, my dear students, I am coming to the end of this session. Yes, I would like to say thanks to you all for joining me in this session. Thank you.